Hey, I'm out here in front of the courthouse. Today is um, October 21st, 2011. And I look, and here comes Mr. Hoffman, Joe Hoffman, the guy that I put on my YouTube here a couple weeks ago. A month ago. A month ago. And he comes, he's got another court date on his um, violation of having his fence became rusty. And um, so I'm just going to let him speak, and I just want you to hear what's being done to generate revenue. This is, this is their way of raping and robbing the poor people who can't defend themselves. I mean, this guy ain't got no money to pay him. His pension or his, you get how much money a month? $590 a month. $590 a month. And he's got to pay all his expenses, as his car, house, everything. That's where his money comes from. And this guy is just, um, and so I want you to just hear what he's, he's gone through. Joe, go ahead and tell us, um, you just got out of the hospital, you said how long ago? For the last three years. No, I said how, you just got out of the hospital. Oh, I just got out of the hospital uh, about uh, a week ago. You, you had pneumonia? Yeah, pneumonia. Okay. I still got to do a follow-up on it. Okay. So tell us what, okay, I mean, you just look wore out to me. I, you know, you just look tired. And so, and so can you just tell us what um, what happened here today? Well, they gave me two weeks to, to paint the place. He wanted me to do a bunch of little nitpick crap, which didn't amount to nothing. And the prosecutor kind of shut him down. He told me just to paint the place and move a few things, and that, that was it. Okay, but and come back in two weeks. This started off how long ago? Three years ago. And they just keep coming back and coming yeah, back. Just like a rash. <laughs> like a rash. Okay. So I mean you were telling me, I mean I mean, what is this doing to you? What is this doing to you emotionally? It's put physically? me in a high state of depression where I've had to take Paxil and you take that and it makes you not want to do nothing. <laughs> Stare at the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's really sad. And then the other gentleman had to come to um, to the courthouse today also? Yes. The one where he brought the machete on his property. And I've uh, been giving him a hard time, same way as me. And uh, he actually wrote him up for his neighbor's fence. That's why he came here today. He wrote him up for his neighbor's fence? Yes. What, what, what does that, maybe you could explain that, how, how that worked. He claimed it was on his property, and I wrote him up for it and made him come to court. He had some violations, and he cleaned it all up, and he's still being aggravated. And like before, the paperwork he gave me, there's no way he even reading it, you know. Yeah, I've, I've, I've documented that. That's on the, other, on the other video. So, Joe, why do you think they're doing this to you? Well, originally, when he first started in on me, I had rented it to two girls. And they end up being lesbians, and they end up not wanting to pay their rent, not wanting to do nothing. And they called him on me to get even with me. They called code enforcement on you to get even yeah. with you. And so then he felt sorry for the girls, and he come down on me hard, you know. And uh, been that way ever since. I was in the right, they was in the wrong. You know, he just just tore into me on nitpicked on every little thing you know a little scratch a little speck of rust here and he's been out on me ever since well i mean it's like a personal vendetta well i mean i mean did you have sex with the girls i mean why did no. you have the girls move in i no. mean i mean why'd they move out they didn't they didn't have the money or uh, originally i was living there and uh <clears throat> the one girl said uh I'd seen her around. She's no a friend of mine. She said she'd been sexually molested by her roommate, and she wanted to know if she could stay over there for a while. And I said, yeah. I let her move in. Pretty soon she moved her girlfriend in, some other girls in. I was living there, too, and she told them I wasn't allowed to live there, and they made me move out. Out of your own house? Yeah. <laughs> this is unbelievable. It's like a nightmare, you know. And then uh, they called code enforcement on me, you know. Because, and I told him, I said, look at all the people they've moved in. Well, they're allowed to do that. I said, no, they ain't. I said, the law states you don't only have so many people for how many square feet you got. <laughs> and he argued with me over that, you know. He's got his own law. He makes his own law as he goes along. Well, it sounds to me like it's a mess. You know, it's amazing our society can even function any longer. Well, it's like a personal thing. Yeah. And so you've been in court now for three years over this. 
On and off, yeah. Yeah. I did uh, over a thousand hours of community service and bad health. Because you couldn't pay for it. Yeah, I couldn't pay for it. So, I mean, it's just been a nightmare. I just wanted to go away. Yeah. Well, I don't know what to say. It's just, it's just really sad to see the condition of America and the state our country's in and the people. Yeah, I fought for this country and everything else, you know what I mean? And then I paid my house off, and that's the bad thing, it's paid for. You know, they say you don't have near the problem if your house is not paid for. Yeah. I paid for my house, and now all this trouble. Yeah. Well. So, I don't know how, how to. Yeah. Well, okay, well, I'll just put this up on YouTube and let, let Pinellas County see what's going on in their county. And, and just, um, you know, it's just a rape and rob system now. It's just, our whole, our whole system has become so corrupt, it's just. Yeah, they try to steal your property from you after you pay it off. Yeah, well, yeah. You know, and uh, I can see the thing about it really upsets me is the neighborhood I live in, the government moved these crackheads and drug dealers and thieves in the neighborhood where they, they pay their rent and they pay all their utilities and then these people move in other families and the government never checks up on them. And where they, they have, one family have four kids, time they move all their friends in, they got about 20 kids aggravating you, you know. And then at Christmas time, they buy them all bicycles, they can ride them on your property and aggravate you. I mean, it's unbelievable the way the country is. A girl who lived next door to me had three kids. They paid her rent, $1,076 a month. They paid her utilities. They paid for child care so she could look for work, which she never did. And then she got a check from them. She got $800 a month in food stamps. Little kids can't eat that much food. You know, it's just unbelievable the way the government is. Well, see, all those children could be somebody who's, that work in the system. I mean, she's probably, she might be breeding them for these guys down here who... Um, well, I'm sure they all had dads. Oh, yeah. They yeah. Well, they're not having to do nothing, just go out and sell dope. No, they probably work at the courthouse is what I'm saying. Insinuating. Um, I don't know. I have no idea. But you know, that's only one family like that. They're probably putting out over two thousand dollars a month on this one girl. How many families in this county are they doing it for? That's taxpayer money. People that work. You know, the system is just not right. Yeah. yeah. And then the ones that don't have much, it's trying to scrape by. Well, their, their goal is to destroy the family. In the process of destroying the family, they destroy the country. That's why, that's why, I mean, I mean, it's, it's, you know. And well, if these people can't afford the kids, they shouldn't be having them. Well, In my day, they didn't have all this birth control they got now. Mm -hmm. They got all kinds of birth control. There's no reason at all for them to have kids that can't afford them. Yeah. Well, I, I personally believe, Joe, that children are a gift from God. And that, the, that if the people would train their children up, protect them from the violence, the sexual reprobation we see on television, I mean, I mean, our greatest asset is our next generation, our children. And That's if we don't true. invest in them and what we're doing now... If you don't is, bring them up right, you're going to have more right. problems than you've got right. now. Well, the problem is, is with the men in America. It's not the women. I mean, you, if you it have... It is the women. It's, the women are bearing the children. Well, then... The, Without somebody to bury the children, I mean, uh, what can the man do? Well... The man need to keep. It's they, a catch twenty two. They need to keep themselves under control, and they need to be held responsible because the men are the ones who are going to. The weight always comes down on the man. We can't judge the women and the children for the corruption and evil that's going on in America and going on in this county. And the women are evil too. Well, the only reason I see them being evil is because what the men are doing to them. The men, if 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 the men do not love the women and the children as Christ loved the church, like the Bible says then we're in big, big trouble. And that's why we have the trouble that we have in America. There's women in my neighborhood that gives their body away just for pills. Well, that's really sad. You know, is that a man? That's a woman. Okay, well, I'm just saying, where's their fathers? Where are the fathers in America who well, are Well, they got no kids. Or if they have kids, they're somewhere else. They're still out selling their bodies for dope and, and pills and everything. Yeah. Well, that, that is that's gonna, the woman. That's going to be a judgment on America. The women, Joe, no matter how it comes out, the Bible says... God's going to hold the men responsible for what's going on with the women and the children. I mean, I can't, I can't change what the Bible says. All no. I tell people is what the Bible says. I and realize I'm, what you're saying. Yeah, if we as men... But there's right and there's wrong. Yeah. You're either right or you're wrong. Right, 
Right. There's no in between, no halfway, you know. Right. That's right. And women should be held accountable for what they do too. Yeah. That's why they got women in jail. Yeah. Yeah. Well. All right, Joe. I, I, you know, I'll put this up, and I'll just let the people judge. They need to make a decision on what they're going to do in America, because our system is so corrupt now. It is. It's, it's just falling apart, and the people are. It's like a junkyard society. Um, well, people, they, they, they put your neighborhood in a ghetto situation. They want it to look like Bel Air. Yeah. One house. They don't care about the other house. Yeah. Yeah. All right.